Hey guys, welcome back to Tech It. Finally, my new series. Um, being a bit a bit quiet, you know, but back on track now. And I'm using Sfax Pure BD Craft. Just got to give props to the guy because he just makes the best texture packs. So we're gonna get a new world, and we'll call a uh, you know maybe Tech It Boxer. Why not? Let's create it. See if we get anything good. So I don't mind any world as long and, and and this looks good as long as there is a rubber tree so now you might be asking me what is a rubber tree well I'll show you um, but first I guess we'll find a bit of a short tree let's not ruin the landscape and do what we do best in Minecraft which is punch trees because that's what it's all about so there's a little bit of a story behind this I, <laughs> I actually started a game about an hour ago and I was recording and everything, everything was going well. Had my first little base up and running. Stopped. And perhaps wasn't recording for some reason. Like it, it did create the video file, but it was all corrupted. So I had to remove it all. Start again. So I started again, started recording again. And by the way, see, that's a rubber tree. You can see it with a little point sticking out, so that's great. So yeah, I started a new game. Pretty good world. I, I found pretty much everything I needed. Except for one thing. That a rubber tree. It was a it was an island, but it was sort of big. But there was no rubber at all there. And you can't play ticket without rubber. It's just very difficult. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? There was pigs there and pigs need to be slaughtered. And we're gonna need some pork chops. And also need a pickaxe. And mm, I'll just skip the um, the axe for now. Just go straight to stone. So yeah, I don't have any rubber on my old world, and yeah, you can't really do anything. So rubber is a new sort of ore that's added to take it. So what you do with it is you make copper cables. You need it for circuit boards. Pretty much anything you can make with industrial craft and build craft, which are the two main mods I would say in in, in take it. Uh, and because I was in on on an island. I would have to, you know, grab a boat and go find it, and that would just, you know, make the let's play so long and boring. So I thought, you know, let's just start a new, a new game. So this time, it does seem that we're lucky. We have food, we have wood. Um, we can just dig down for some stone. There's wolves. I don't know why we would need those wolves, but you know, they're there. They're there. Why not? So I've got food. I've got some wood. Uh, I do have this particular dislike for snow biomes. I don't know. Do you have? Do you guys have this? I just I can't stand snow biomes. So we might just head over sort of in that general direction to all the rubber trees and sort of the green landscape. And we've got a sand here for if we need glass, which we do need some glass and take it. Not too much though. And oh, this looks good as well, actually. See, there's rubber trees there, there as well. They're kind of easy to find um, now that they have the little tops on them, which is good because you need a lot of it. Um, probably the first thing I'll do <laughs> is make a rubber farm, just because you need so incredibly much of it. And now, uh, oh shoot, perfect! This game is great. Got sheep. I've got. Food. I just need one more sheep. Is there one more sheep? Yeah, there is. Sort of. What are you doing? You know that's not physically possible, but hey, you know, it's a video game. There we go. Can make a bed. Got flowers. If I ever need flowers for some inexplicable reason, probably not. Oh great. Oh look at this. Wow. This is probably the best world I've ever seen. At least that I've personally seen. That wooden sword is just rubbish. So, we can see some new stuff straight away. So, first of all, if you haven't seen this texture pack before, that is coal. This is iron. Uh, stone, of course, cobble. Uh, sorry, stone and gets into cobble. 
and this is new this is copper so it sort of blends in really well with the, all the iron so that's pretty cool and actually I don't need any yet so let's just um, let's just get some stone yeah and get some stone tools made and they'll last us for a little bit and there we go oh and another new thing this is marble so it looks absolutely amazing in this texture pack so you know we'll probably build a, a factory out of marble I think that looks pretty good it, it just looks amazing to get it with some stone or some stone bricks even and I'll just show you this as well because oh, I'm, I'm still gonna die aren't I there's a new one there as well but I'll show you that later so this little baby here that's uh, uranium so yes there is nukes in this game and they're pretty good so this is a tech it, not Technic, which is a little bit different. Um, Technic is pretty much the single player version of this. So Tech it is the multiplayer, of, you know, sort of version. They're very similar. I know that the single player one has, you know, some different animals. Um, but it's also more buggy. Like, it just seems to not be updated as much. And it has some problems with uh, another one of the major mods in here, which is called um, Equivalent Exchange. So I am playing Tekkit, the multiplayer version, but I am playing it sing on a single player, um, or well not server, but just single player. And the reason for that is that most, and with most, I mean all, servers have a lot of stuff disabled. Just because Tekkit is so easy for people to grieve. So, you know, just letting a random person build a nuke, bad idea. <laughs> um, but that sort of ruins the fun for me. Because most of the stuff that's disabled is actually really cool to use. So nuclear reactors and you know all that good stuff. And that's what we're going to do. I mean, this is not some chilled out Minecraft video. You know, no. We're actually going to build nukes. And magic missiles and all that good stuff. Uh, and most of these things are disabled. I know some servers allow nukes, but then they sort of control the explosion size. And, you know, it's just, it's just not fun. So let's get some coal and cook some pigs, well, pork chops, and wow, this goes on for quite a while. That's great. So that's gravel, by the way, if you haven't seen that before. Uh, let's start cooking first, because I'm already getting hungry, which is... I don't know, it seems to me that any time I play, I get hungry faster, but hey, that might be just me. Uh, let's get an axe as well. Yeah, and maybe maybe a shovel. Why not? Oh, and a sword. What am I doing? <laughs> so a shovel and a sword. There we go. So let's chop down another tree because we we are getting low on on planks, and you know you you can never have enough wood. So that's sorted. Let's turn those into planks straight away. There we go. Do we want to go down here or maybe here? No, definitely not there. There's a skeleton there. Uh, can I get back up? Yeah, I can. So my main priority at the moment is just um, coal. And maybe some building materials or some... Some marble would be nice, uh, some stone, although I'm not going to cook it up yet, so maybe just some marble. Marble and wood, that sounds good. And I'll just get some copper already as well. So copper is extremely common, you find it more than coal, um, but then again it's also used in everything, so what is that, let's see, okay, I don't really want to, oh actually, yeah I'll go there. Let me make some torches, which that's not enough. Actually, let's make them all. There we go. No. The torches go on the last one for me. And if they're not there, I can't find them. Let's put that down here. So that's another new ore, which I don't think I can mine at the moment. Nope. So, uh-oh. I do not want to play with you. Not now. Come on. 
Come on. So I'll just leave that for now. But um, those are emeralds, which yes, are going to be in Minecraft 1.3 as well. Um, these are a bit more useful though. And this is another one, which is exactly this. Oh, another one. I think there's a heart. Oh, a hive down there. Bye. So these, um, there's a couple of them in there now in in Ticket. There's um, and I completely forgot the names, of course, as that goes. But as emeralds, um, sapphires, which is the blue one that you saw. There's. Do I have any iron? I need to. And there's another one. There's um, rubies. So these have the different colors, which are green, blue, and red, but they're exactly the same. So <laughs> they don't give you anything special. And and the quality of them, you can make pickaxes with them, and it's just just between iron and and diamond. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is that you can't mine obsidian with them, so you you know you still need diamond. Uh, let's leave that skeleton there. I think that's a pretty good place for it, to be honest. And I think because it's getting night, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack up and we're gonna move into one of these little areas here. Oh, oh. Come on. Bye. They're still shooting at me as well. Ow. Lava. Oh, wow. Perfect. Uh, let's light this up a bit, though. So there we go. Plop. And I think we'll just set up shop down there and sort of wait till the night is over and you know, do some mining. Um, maybe make my first machine, although maybe not actually, because we do need quite a lot of stuff for it. So yeah, this series is going to be mainly... I don't know. It's going to be pretty much like a half tutorial where we sort of play through it and, and it's pretty fast paced. Like everything takes kind of long and take it, but at the same time there's so much to do that there's always something, you know, that you can do whilst waiting for the other thing to complete. So yeah, it, it's pretty much going to be a, like a half let's play tutorial. How does that work? I don't know. But I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, that's tin by the way. Also kind of useful. It's used for you know some things especially for batteries but I'll show you this later. So let's get some a little bit more coal and I think that's this might actually not be a bad idea to just carve out a little area here and we'll just set up shop. There we go. So this mod can be extremely daunting at start, like I was thinking of starting it for ages and I did start it up a couple of times but just the sheer amount of stuff you can do in it, it's just, it's just mind boggling. But it, you know, it sort of stayed in my memory and I just had to play it, I had to figure it out and once you start you just can't stop, it's just, and I can't play normal Minecraft anymore, I, I seriously can't, just because it just seems as nothing to do in Minecraft compared to Ticket. So yeah, no you won't see me in Minecraft anymore except for Ticket. There we go, that should be enough. Uh, at least we can iron pickaxe so we can get some proper emeralds and stuff. And these emeralds are not the same as in 1.3 so you, you know you can't trade them to villages and stuff. And you as far as I know, you don't use them for anything at all except for tools, so pickaxes. You can make a sword out of it, which are they're pretty decent. They're about the same as an iron sword as far as I know. But you can't... I don't think you make any machines with them, at least I haven't seen any, so... And I haven't seen any magic sort of stuff with it either. Uh, so that's enough. Let's make a pickaxe. And then we can venture deeper into the unknown. Uh, can I stop that water? Oh, it seems to me that bad things always happen around water, so... 
Is that wool? Yeah, that's wool. That no, no. I don't want to use wool. I could make a bed, I guess, but I don't really need it. Uh, no. So let's see what else we have here. That's uh, that's also a new ore. Let me try not not to die here. Why is that not not flowing? I have no idea. Do we want to look at the new ore first and not? No, let's leave it. We're not going to use that. Uh, oh wow! That's uh, rubies. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I really need to take my time here. So let's head back up a bit and let's see tin, copper, more tin, iron, copper, coal. Is it sort of just start? Yeah, I'll do. Let's start here. There we go. And this will go a bit faster. So this first episode is sort of just like an introduction. You know, me sort of saying what I'm going to do. And next episode, we'll actually start building machines because you can get on the way pretty fast in Tech It. Probably if I can get about 10 more iron, we can actually start it. So this is um, uranium. Combine it with iron pickaxe, which is pretty cool. And it's worth a ton of EMC. And I'll talk a little bit more about what EMC is. Um, EMC is... Um, it's not really a currency, but it's it sort of is a value of items. So the more rare an item is and the more it's used in recipes, the higher the EMC value is. And what that allows you to do is um, is use it in a mod called Equivalent Exchange. So what, as the name suggests, you can pretty much trade in items for each other. So for example, this cobblestone is worth one EMC. Uh, and there's a little machine called an energy condenser and it's also a transportation tablet which means I can turn this cobblestone into something else with EMC value 1 such as dirt or I believe a plank and gravel which is just amazing so the other thing you can do is combine stuff so if I have for example four cobblestone I put four cobblestone in there I can actually make something worth four EMC so just sort of, you know, a nice little thing that um, you can use to um, I always put all my cobble and dirt and all that, you know, stuff that you don't need in there. And it even works with not all, but most items. So, you know, minecarts and stuff, um, pickaxes that you're almost done with. So that's pretty handy. But we'll get into that later. That's a bit later because we need glowstone to make that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, we we'll have to find diamonds first to um, actually get to the nether. But even that is kind of far off. Um, first of all, we're going to start with the industrial craft, build craft stuff. And that, that just needs copper. Copper and rubber and iron. So we're just going to mine this out. And I'll probably do this a bit longer. And see if we can find anything special. So what I am excited about is that we found some rubies later on. So I use rubies and emeralds and sapphires as sort of replacements for iron because iron you need a lot in machines, like a lot. Probably each machine has about, well, whoops. Anyways, <laughs> all machines have about at least 16 iron in them. So you need a load of them. So rubies are sort of a, a nice way of not using as much iron. They're also worth quite a few, so you can turn them into diamonds if you have, I think, eight of them. Eight rubies is the same as one diamond. So the problem, though, with this sort of system is um, you, you do need the item that you want to turn things into. So if you want to make a diamond, you actually have to have a diamond first before you can do that. So there we go. We're getting there. Oh, completely forgot this. Tin is useful, but... You know, you make batteries with it, but you don't really need too many batteries. I guess it depends on your playstyle, but I don't use batteries all that much. So that was rubies. There's a load of copper here. 
but I reckon the most used resources in tech it probably copper and rubber I don't think there's anything else that's maybe iron it's close and diamonds oh, oh, oh god the diamonds you need so many diamonds let's see there we go I think we might just um, explore a little bit, see if we can get deeper maybe. No, just follow this path maybe first. Mm. More rubies, yes please, I'll take those. And that's the great thing as well about Ticket. You, it doesn't matter where you look, you always find stuff that you're going to need. And you know that feeling in Minecraft where you just you know, you, you, you want to get out of a cave because you're like, oh, I've done enough mining, you know, I, I should really build something. But you just keep finding stuff. Like, now I want to go back, but I'm like, no, 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 I'll, I'll just get that tin and then I'll go. And I'm like, oh, there's copper there. I should probably get that copper as well. <laughs> so that tech it, ow, ow. Tech it doesn't help with that. It, it just it just really doesn't because there's so many new ores. There's probably about six no more there's probably about eight new ores i think there's emeralds sapphires rubies copper tungsten cinnabar tin silver is that it that's probably about it so there's a load of new ores out there and it's great you know ow just want to go deeper and, and see if i can Maybe find some diamonds. What depth am I at? Uh, oh, oh, I can see it on my minimap. 21. Oh, actually, very close to diamonds. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And if we can't find diamonds, then we're going to have to make something that finds diamonds for us. Because, yes, we can do that. With a stick and some magic dust. <laughs> Which is, you know, great. Oh, more rubies. It's kind of interesting that I'm only finding rubies and no sapphires, or not many at least. Let's leave the copper for now, leave the tin. I need to go, I'm at 16 depth now. Okay, so <laughs> this looks like diamond. It's it's not. It's, um, it's a new fuel, just like redstone and coal. And it's called Nicolite. And it's used primarily for the red, uh, red power mod, which I might use in 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 this playthrough. It's not as expansive and as good, I guess, as build craft and industrial craft. And I think anything that red power mod does, build craft and industrial craft do it better. So yeah, <laughs> that probably doesn't help them. Is that the end of the line? Yeah. Hmm. It's hoping for some diamonds. But oh well. On my pick. Did I miss all this? Or just skipped it? Am I that blind? Hmm. My pickaxe is gonna break. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we should have enough iron. Uh, how do I find a way back? Should be fairly straightforward. Follow the torches. Wow, we actually went quite far. Let's see. Yep, past the lava. Silver. Ah, I went. I came from up there. Uh oh. Ow! Ow! Ow. I don't really want to fight you with that armor. Oh. Uh oh. This is going to end horribly for me. Phew. <laughs> Dig myself. Oh, I don't have a pick. Oh, bow. Power one. That's cool. I need health. Keep that lava. Might need it. 
I hear zombies and I don't like it. Get out of here. Is my home up there? Oh, it's here. Well, <laughs> I call it a home, but yeah. Let's make it a bit more homey, see? <laughs> How lovely is that? And the next thing we're going to do is just board this up a bit, put the iron to cook, and let's make a bed. And I'll show you a new feature of Ticket, which is just amazing as well. Oh, really? Let's make a pickaxe first. Uh, probably make two. Oh, I'll just make one first. So it's not night? No, <laughs> it's bright daylight. Hmm. Okay. Well, time to um. Just want to see what time it is. Oh, <laughs> it's about noon. Right. Well, then I'll leave that side for next time. So yeah, thanks for watching, and um, don't worry, things will heat up soon. Uh, next episode, we'll definitely build our first uh, two mach two machines, maybe at least one, anyways. So yeah, tune in next time, probably tomorrow. See you guys, thanks for watching.